Now, what are the remedies that we can have to protect ourselves? So, now remedies can happen at different levels. So, let's let's talk about say network layer security. So, on the network, you can have securities by uh, securing your Wi-Fi access points, then securing your management uh, managing devices like you can secure your router switches, or you can use a centralized system to manage the security of the entire network. And then the other things are all the communication that your that happens on the network has been secured. By that we mean we uh, communicate over privately. We use uh, things like internet uh, uh, internet protocol security suit, which is IPsec these days. By uh, encrypting the information, we'll be able to ensure that it does not uh, it is not readable in the human form by someone who is not authori authorized to read it. Then we have something called the multi-factor authentication. So we talked about multi-factor authentication. Now, if the data or the particular area that you are uh, looking at is uh, highly confidential or secure, you could use a uh, multi-factor. For example, you could have a pin and also the biometric uh, data, both of them to authenticate the person. So after multi-factor authentication, we also have something called security tokens, which can be used to securely access certain applications and even uh, physical spaces and we also uh, talk about electronic mail security. Now, most of the communication that we do happens over email. So, there are ways that you can encrypt your uh, emails and there are services so that the emails that are sent over the network are sent in an encrypted form so that if the information is tapped at certain place because it all travels through a public network, uh, it is not in the human readable form. Then finally, then we have uh, things like firewalls in place. Now, firewalls are more of a defensive measures. So, what firewalls can do is they can filter packets based on certain properties. For example, a uh, packet has a property of uh, IP addresses of source and destination. So, if we know that this particular IP has been known uh, to be sending malicious uh, communication, we could block that particular IP. Or if there are certain ports which are not being used and could be a vulnerability to our system, we could block those. Then we have firewalls which can do uh, stateful packet inspection. That means they can not just look at uh, the source and destination information, they can also look at the kind of data that is going in through or the kind of applications that are uh, communicating through that data like we saw port numbers. So, port numbers determine which applications that we are using and say for example, certain company wants to block uh, certain social networking websites. So, it can actually inspect that uh, communication and see if it belongs to a social networking website and block that. 